Hello, everyone. I'm Mayor Kennedy O'Brien of Sarville, and I want to welcome you to Conversations with Kennedy. Well, welcome, everyone. I'm Kennedy O'Brien. I'm the Mayor of Sarville, and welcome to Conversations with Kennedy. Today, we have Sarville's Recreation Director, Ryan Van Dungeon. And Brian, if you would, uh, tell us a little bit about your job here in Sayreville. Well, thanks for having me, Mayor. We're, uh, I'm excited to share everything that recreation does. Uh, basically, our mission of our department is to build community, celebrate our diversity and our, and our community needs, and really promote social and responsibility through volunteerism and uh, ecologic, uh, environmental stewardship and protection, as well as uh, mental and physical and emotional wellness. So we're really, you know, our, all of our events kind of try to focus on those pillars of our, of our role. Great. And, and um, because recreation mirrors the seasons of the year, what do you have coming up this season? Well, fishing is always a very popular spring, summer, fall activity. So we start really our big events with our fishing derby in May. Mm -hmm. um, that's at the small lake at Kennedy Park. We get it stocked every Every season for the, uh, or every spring for the fishing derby, we get about 100 kids that come out, and we're always looking for more. So if anybody's interested in participating in our fishing derby, all, all the information is going to be on our website for that. And what's the average age of the kid that comes out? So we take everybody up to age 14 for that. Okay. So if you have a parent that can help you cast a reel into the pond, you're welcome to come to fishing. That's what fishing I was going to ask. Yep. I started out in recreation, and it used to be a great uh, parent-child uh, day. Down at, down at Kennedy Park. It is, and something that we've uh, that we're happy with uh, as well is we've been partnering with the uh, community policing department uh, of the um, police department here, yep. and they come and help kids fish as well and have some extra supplies for the kids who need it as well. So yeah, that's they, something that we're really happy to provide as a community. There were some great well. prizes over the years for the kids. I mean, really great prizes. Yep, we have uh, a good uh, support with the uh, Sayreville um, community to provide us with prizes and sponsorships. Yeah. Um, we have one of the best Inde Independence Day celebrations down in Kennedy Park. I mean, we really do. Uh, people would be surprised to hear the numbers, both inside the park, and and a lot of people bring their cars. And they they there's so many vantage points around Sayreville for the fireworks. Um, what do you have planned this year? Well, I'm glad you mentioned that because we do try to put on a good show, not for just the people who are or at the park, but for people who around town who can go and see it as well. So try to provide the higher fireworks so that people all around town can see it if they can't make it to the park for whatever reason. And, and what time should people start going into the park? So our fireworks uh, event starts at 4 o'clock with food trucks and uh, bounce houses for the kids. We have a band starting at about 7 o'clock. Uh, there's going to be a Bruce Springsteen uh, cover band. So that's really exciting for us. That's wonderful. And um, about... As soon as it gets dark, we're shooting the fireworks off, so about 9.30. Okay, fabulous. Um, with summer coming up, what camp activities are you planning? So we have three kind of different groups and groups of camps. Um, our first one is obviously our most popular one, which is our Brooks Park Camp from ages 3 to 14. Um, ever since the COVID shutdown uh, about three years ago, we've steadily been increasing that. We had about 200 kids about three years ago. Last year, we had about 250 kids. So, you know, we're really expanding that program and really serving a need for our community there. Now, is there a cost to a parent? There is. Basically, the cost covers the supplies for the program and, our, and the staffing needs for that program. Um, we want to make sure that, obviously, our kids are safe and they have um, a good staff to camper ratio. And what would the cost be? It's $270. And for how many weeks? So it's for six weeks, uh, Monday through Friday from 9 to 12. Okay. Um, then following following the summer comes the beginning of fall. So one of the big events in town is Sayreville Day. And, and, and rec directors survive or die by their Sayreville Day. So what do you have in mind for us this year? Well, that's one of our, as you know, one of our biggest community events as well. Um, it's mm -hmm. really to get the entire community involved through various municipal departments come out and showcase what you know their services are to the to the communities, as well as local businesses, uh, people who have craft businesses or sell little chores on the side. Um, it's really the way to get the entire community involved into our, so they can showcase their community to the community, who they are and what they do for us. 
That's great. That's great. Brian, you're doing a fine job. I'm glad that you're the rec director. And uh, at any time, my, my office door is open to you. Well, Mayor, we're very happy and uh, grateful and thankful that we have a great recreation professional staff and volunteer group as well. Great. Um, with that, I'm going to uh, conclude today's um, podcast uh, with uh, Conversations with Kennedy. A very big thank you to Brian and the Cerebral Recreation Department. It is really dedicated volunteers, um, and, and it's just fantastic. Uh, I got my start in Cerebral Rec, and I always tell people when they want to get active, I said, join Rec first. I said, you'll have the time of your life. And from there, you can see where you want to go. So with that, I bid everybody goodbye. Uh, Till the next uh, Conversations with Kennedy. Thank you, Brian. You're welcome.